Okay. I think oh, I should probably say something about going live. I'm downloading videos to my phone from my camera here. So, what? Let's do, what's up, Night of Ren? What's up, Gord? How's it going, Recovering Toy Addict? How's everyone doing today? I'm just going to share this onto the, uh, the Faces book real quick that I'm alive. Dude, come on, load. There we go. Okay. I'm live or whatever. That's that's what I'm doing here. All right. Whoa! I turn around and there's tons of people here. Let's see. Go away. Uh, what's up, Conquest Figs? Uh, I'm gonna move this over so it looks like I'm looking at my camera instead of not at my camera. There we go. Uh, ha! Centurion's Corner, man. How's it going? Yeah, I, had to, I did not get a chance to fully clean up my room. You can see um, the earthquake has knocked over a few of my uh, Star Wars toys. I picked some of them up, but um, it actually wasn't super bad. And I got a bunch of boxes to open. So I've got things going on here. You guys are about to uh, enjoy watching me uh, maybe uh, unbox things. The one difference here is that, number one, I'm not drinking any alcohol. Um, I am, I'm exhausted. Uh, I spent, I spent the last, what, yesterday? We got up at, we got up at 7.30 in the morning. And this is <clears throat> Ireland time, so it's eight hours ahead. And then we flew and we got back to the United States at about 6.30 in the evening. So that's roughly about 20, 18 hours or so of travel. And then it took us about four hours. I think we didn't get home until like one or two uh, last night because of the earthquake. And we happened to be on a train while the earthquake, like we literally just left the LA station when the earthquake happened last night. And um, they stopped the train for like 10 minutes. And then they're like, okay, we think everything's good. And then we traveled. It was like a two hour train ride. We traveled for about an hour and a half. And then they're like, oh, um, before, like right before our exit, we were like literally 20 miles away from where we're getting off, and they're like, "Oh, well, they just put a regulation on us. We can't we can't go more than 10 miles an hour." So I'm like, "10 miles an hour, you know, at 20 miles away, that's like t a two-hour train ride to go 20 miles." So it was um it was it was a long day yesterday. So let's see. Here we go. Looking at what I missed, but anyways, that's I'm tired. So I'm not drinking. I mean, I mean <clears throat> I'm not sick, but I've got like a like a cough thing going on. So I'm drinking ginger ale and just um just relaxing. I just kind of want this to be a relaxing non non alcohol <laughs> infused. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a beer in a little bit, but not not right now. Anyways, Night of Ren saw Far From Home today. I'm going to see Far From Home. I'm going to see it. Uh, probably in the next couple days. I have, an, I have, I'm off work until like Wednesday, so I've got some time to do things. But I have like a million videos I have to make and edit now, because I um, I did. Uh, I I brought my little camera here. I brought this little um, this is a DJI po uh, Pocket Osmo. I brought that with me to my um, honeymoon, and I took a bunch of really cool videos around Star Wars things. So uh, I'll I'll be. I'm right now I'm importing them into my computer and then I'm gonna edit a video together so that's gonna be fun uh, let's see conquest figs picked up endgame cap today way to go I've got that actually sitting right here because I bought it right before I went away so it was literally just kind of sitting on my desk the whole time I was gone I love this toy this is a good Captain America figure very very good so glad you got that let's see here uh, they stopped the Walgreens and found the 2018 Infinity War wave that's awesome um, yeah, dude, the Iron Spider uh, Marvel Legend. It's first of all, it's a it's a bad figure, um, just in the sense that like there's no accessories for it other than the leg for Thanos. And if you want that Thanos, you have to have the leg. But they didn't come with anything with that mold, and it's awful. No spider appendages, no alternate hands. Um, it was I was so disappointed with that stupid figure. I think I actually ended up sending 
that figured to pop a gourd. Uh, what's up, Raccoon Bandit? How's it going? Uh, Will <laughs> Will Siegel, General Kenobi. <laughs> you are a bold one. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Ravi, what's up? How's it going? RC photos. Thanks uh, for congratulating me on the on the honeymoon. It was fun. It was a good. It was a good honeymoon. Looking forward to the chopper review. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I posted. If you guys saw my Instagram, I, I found a bunch of figures at Target today. I didn't I only bought one. I bought Brunt. That was the only one of all those figures I bought, and I'll, I'll probably open them in this. But that's because the rest of the Star Wars figures are in these boxes that I got while I was away. So we're gonna open them up. What's up, Stumbler? How's it going? I don't. I don't know why Gwenpool is like. Why is she so easy to find? Like, why? Why are there so many more of her than any other of the Lizard Wave? I thought she would be the hard one to find, but Gwenpool is just everywhere, and it sucks because she's not a bad figure. I don't know why this marker is here. That's weird. How's it going, JR? Welcome. Yeah, um, he's a good MCU Spidey. The only MCU Spidey I have right now is the homemade suit Spider-Man. I really like that one. So, um, first of all, I just want to... These are upcoming videos. I'm not going to open these, but this is a Nini box guy here. Sent me another is a Nini box, so you guys can look forward to that. Uh, but I do have... This is, I believe... I believe this is May's Loot Crate in July. I actually technically got it, like, the day after I left uh, on my honeymoon, but, like, you know, I can't physically open it and review it while I'm, you know, out of the country. That's just not how physics works. So, uh, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll do that probably, well, maybe tomorrow. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm really exhausted. I'm, I'm, I'm super exhausted. How's everyone else doing? I'm going to start opening these because I want to I wanna open them so bad. Oh, what's up, Stum Oh, yeah, dude. So, Stumbler here is doing a diorama for me. You guys, this guy is, like, legit. I don't even want to post pictures or anything because I want it to be a surprise. But you guys are in for a treat. Well, I'm in for a treat. But you guys are vicariously also transitively in for a treat. So, uh, which one's this one? This, oh, first one. It's like a, it's kind of like a weird blind box. Like I know it's in them, but I don't know which one is which. First one, I've got my whoops, look at that. I got my chopper. Now here's the thing about this chopper. I'm 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 gonna probably open these, but I'm also in like dumb shorts. So you guys, I'm just gonna pull this uh, this R2 unit here. Now, I a lot of people, especially uh, I think uh, Stumbler, have told me that this that this chopper is amazing. The problem with this chopper, I'll go ahead and pull them out. Um, so with the with the Rebels figures, and this is the, my problem with them, with the Rebels figures, they made them more realistic than their stylized cartoon kind of vibes they've got going on. I do love this, this is amazing. Um, the problem is that it seems like they didn't do that with, uh, I'll put that there. They, they didn't really do that with Chopper here. You see, like, this is what a Black Series R2 unit looks like. This is what he looks like. He's, like, short and fat. Now, the the only reason I'm, like, you could say, like, oh, that's just how he looks. But Chopper, believe it or not, was in Rogue One. He's in the background, and he just looks, I don't think he looks that different. I'm going to look him up. I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna look this up on the internet. I have internet access here. So I'm gonna type in Chopper Live Action Rogue One. I don't think he looks stubby. Oh, he does. Never mind. Just kidding. He absolutely looks stubby. So you're getting a little, uh. Yeah, he definitely looks stubby in Rogue One. Okay. So I was wrong, and that's why I researched things before. I do uh, reviews of them. So the, my one complaint of him was going to be that he doesn't look like he should, but just kidding, he looks exactly like he should. And that does look good. I like that. I'm going to put that over here. So that's one figure down. Who's going to be in the next one? 
What's up, Stigma? How's it going, man? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm reading the text here. I don't see the real... <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Christopher Miller, I, I agree. I thought in my brain, like recalling it, I thought that the chopper model they used in the Star Wars show, which I watched uh, for a while, but not anymore. I kind of got out of it. Uh, I didn't. I liked the Pete guy, and when they changed over, I just didn't like the new guy that much. Although I love me some D Goots. Uh, anyway, uh, I know Rogue One or um, Chopper was in Rogue One, and I just Googled it, and he definitely looks short and stubby. Aha! This one is Ezra. So again, I love I love this wave because. It's just one step closer to completing my Rogue One, not Rogue, my, not Rogue One, my Rebels crew, which I've got down here in the bottom. You can probably see them. Um, uh, Sabine fell over during, she was a casualty to the Great Earthquake yesterday or maybe the one the day before. In which case, you guys, I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm sort of expecting another earthquake today. Usually with things like this, uh, it's not like a one-off thing and it's like a pattern. So, um, I'm expecting it to be um, probably tonight, around midnight my time, maybe a little later, but I'm fully expecting there to be another earthquake here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just pulling these out so I can kind of get a little first hand. So you guys are seeing this. Uh, wow. I like this. This is a good figure. Oh, he's got to kind of gingerly move the, the limbs. Um, I might need to hit. This, that's, that one's tight. So I, I don't, you don't want to break any pegs like the first time moving them or any um, hinges. So you got to be very careful here. Looks like the cloak comes off. Every, a little little vest comes off. I like this. This is a good. This is good. All right, put that over here. <clears throat> Yeah, Anthony, I don't know. Like, he's not awful. I just I just really liked Pete. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe people didn't. I don't know why he left the show. I don't know. I'm sure there was some kind of drama behind there. Um, man, I just love all the stuff that comes with Chopper. Just so many things. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to give away too much. But, uh, yeah, Chopper looks good. Uh, but, yeah, D. Goots, she's a, she is a babe in... Definitely a fan of her. Let's see who's in the next one. I will say there's one in here that I'm not getting. And I figured out what happened. And Stumbler, if he's in here, he's got me covered. Um, you guys like, like, he has a, he has an Instagram. And I don't remember what that Instagram is. But he does a lot of rad custom stuff that you guys need to check out. Hold on. What's his Instagram's? Hi 10462. That's what it is. I'm going to type it out here. So, if you guys um if you guys like Instagram or whatever, check out his stuff. He does a lot of really cool stuff. I almost I'm not supposed to do that with a knife, Mike. You know this. Um But anyway, so yeah, that one's uh, BT1. Cool. So, what happened though was I ordered these back in April. And we had our, our debit card got compromised about a month ago. And I had to snag, uh, I had to get a new, new debit card. And I thought I went in and updated the uh, order number for all the, my, the card information on Hasbro Pulse for all of these. Whew, what the crap, man. And it turns out that I didn't. Uh, I didn't, I forgot to update it on all of them. No, I updated it on all of them, but uh, triple zero. So I do not have a triple zero. Oops. I'm glad that comes off. At least I hope it comes off. But um, randomly, uh, Stumbler was like, hey, I got an extra triple zero. Do you want it? And I was like, weird that you should ask. Because the answer is yes. Yes, I do want it. It just happened to be the one, the one that I forgot to uh, update the credit card info on, 
And for whatever reason, Hasbro and their infinite wisdom, they, uh, if your card gets declined, they don't say like, hey, you should update your card information. What they say is nothing and they cancel your order. That's it. Your order just gets canceled. I don't know, I don't know which side it goes on which here. But I'll play with this in a bit. So I got a little BT1. And if you like uh, the Dr. Aphra, the Darth Vader comics, you will dig BT1. He is a cool, cool character. He's a cool little droid. He is evil. And I love, we need some more droids. I'm always down for, for droids. He's got these little, these little guys that go on here. Let's see if I can get this back on. He's just loaded with guns. That's one of the reasons you just like him. You can, same thing with uh, Triple Zero. They're just they're 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 mean, mean. They're just killing machines. There we go. All right. So this is kind of hard to keep on there, but there we go. There we go. He's got uh, his little guns on there. That looks cool. I like that. Put that over here with the rest of them. No! So I can see I'm going to have a problem with those because they fall off really easily. Uh, yes, and he's also sending me Legends and uh, the Diorama. So the thing is about... What the crap? So first of all, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I ordered this wave together. I didn't order them individually. I selected all of them. I put them in my cart and I paid for them. Although they don't charge payment until it ships, which is stupid, because it authorizes it when you order it. But they sent me all of these in individual boxes. Hasbro, you could just send me the, like, you don't have to do this, this is stupid. But also, this is like split, it's like, this, there's no tape on this. The tape goes from here down to here. That's just kind of dumb. Anyways. Uh, so I like Triple Zero and I like BT One. They're they're cool characters. I highly recommend it if you haven't read the Darth Vader story or the Doctor Aphra stories. They're fun. Doctor Aphra is like a cool. Um, oh, there we go. Speaking of the devil, here's my Doctor Aphra here. Um, she's like a kind of like an Indiana Jones type character, but also like a thief like I don't know she's she's just she's cool I like her Ooh. I like this mold too this is a good looking mold looks like looks like it's the same maybe the same body as Jaina uh, Jaina Solo I, don't know. I haven't done this with any of the others but I'm pulling all of her accessories out because you have to have Dr. Afro with her uh, hat on but she, yeah, it looks like she is the exact same body mold as uh, Jaina Solo. Because so far, Jaina Solo is the only one that has this ab crunch right here. I'm not complaining by any means. It's a good, if you're going to reuse a body mold, she's one of the best characters and, you know, figures in the whole line. So, for sure. I agree, uh, Christopher. Their, their logistics are just a, an absolute mess. So I'm gonna put her, um, I'm gonna put her hat on, and I'm gonna put her pistol, her blaster, in her holster here. There we go. And there, there is. And we should just kind of show you what I mean here. Whoop. All right. This is. It might be hard to see. It's probably too hard to see without going deep into the cover. But I am, I'm fairly sure they even have. She even has lines, because um, Jaina has a flight suit on. Yeah, this is the exact same body mold, at least on the torso and the legs. The arms are different, but the chest and legs are. <laughs> are the exact same. No, there's like not even a difference.
Yeah, what's up, David Smith? How you doing, bud? Okay, I'm gonna put uh, Dr. Afra over here. I don't know if that's got too much going on. I'm gonna put Jaina over here. I've got a little folded up battle droid because I was before I left. I was working on my battle droid review. I wanted to get that done before I went on my um, honeymoon, but I, I didn't get a chance to. I'm not. Even, I'm not sorry. I'm just stating a fact that I tried. Uh, I tried to get all the unboxings and a battle droid review, but the unboxings are relatively easy to do because it's just filming and editing. But um, reviews are harder because you have to write them, then film them, and there's a lot more work editing it down, and then I have to take photos, so uh, it's kind of a bummer here. And here we are. We've got Obi-Wan. Now, I'm super disappointed in this. This sucks. So if you guys aren't uh, aware of this, if you haven't gotten the Obi-Wan yet, which I did see in Obi-Wan today, um, he, yeah, he doesn't. Obi-Wan on the promo photos and at uh, Star Wars Celebration when they showed him off, he had an extra hand. Um, it's the standard Obi-Wan hand with the two fingers pointing out. Now, it's weird that this one comes with it because to my knowledge, he never does that in episode one, just in episode maybe two, definitely three. Uh, but, you know, I'm never going to say, oh, no, I don't want extra hands. So it kind of, I was excited about it, but now um, it turns out only the exclusive version that came uh, in the episode one carded pack comes with that, and he does not. But damn, look at that. Look at that face. That is Ewan McGregor to a T. That looks so good. I'm going to put his lightsaber in his hand here. So just some fun uh, things. He definitely has he has both uh, butterfly joints just like Mace Windu. And he, he has the same kind of layered tunic, uh, soft rubber kind of material going over here with like a, a layered version underneath here. So this is exactly what I want. The only thing is he 100% should have come with a, uh, a cloak. And it's stupid that he didn't. Because 90% of the movie, Obi-Wan is wearing a cloak. And, you know, just in the last scene, is he not? So it would have been really cool if they had put... Got to put his lightsaber in two hands. Uh, it's just a, it's a bummer that they don't... Like, oh, Mace Windu gets a cloak. But not Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know? But yeah, that looks good. That's going to look good next to Qui-Gon. In fact, I don't know, Qui-Gon's going to look... Qui-Gon's going to look awful next to this guy. Because, like, this guy's face is fantastic. His molding is fantastic. And then Qui-Gon's just going to look just decrepit next to him. All right, I think I got one more. Nope. I think that's it. Is that it? Is that all of them? Right? One, two, three, four... Five, yeah, just missing triple zero. So this is a box. I think I ordered this literally like right before I went on my honeymoon. And I didn't know if it was going to come during it or after it. But I kind of hoped it was going to come after it. I even chose slow shipping. So it took longer to get. But it still came right away. Like literally the day after I left, I got this in the mail. And they squished it, sending it to me. That's cool. I hope it's not broken. But this, uh, yeah, it's, it is squished. This is Thundercracker. This is the uh, IDW model kit. Um, not IDW. The Flame Toys model kit Thundercracker. I have the Starscream. And I have both of the Optimus Primes they've done. The IDW Optimus Prime and the regular Optimus Prime. I've only built one of the Optimus Primes. I haven't built the Starscream. I haven't built the other IDW. But I saw this on Amazon and it was 30 bucks, And I had to get it because I love them. And they're fun to do. The problem is I just... Need to find time to do them, you know? What's up, Octave Fuzz? How's it going? I'm going to go back here and kind of look at what I've been missing here. Sure enough, you've been uh, way more into Marvel Legends than Black Series. I mean, I, I go back and forth. Pretty much for me, like, I don't have enough money to or sh shelf space to collect a thousand different things. 
Um, Marvel Legends, I'm, I typically stick to just X-Men stuff. Um, and that's some, some MCU, but mostly X-Men. Uh, and then, yeah, I dab in MCU stuff. Like, I almost bought that War Machine today because I just love the way it looks. Uh, but I just, I, when the Black Series came out, I just, I told myself I'm going to get the, I'm going to get them all. Um, so that's what I've been doing here. What's up, Jonah? You're, you're my biggest fan, huh? Let's, uh, oh wait, you're my biggest fan. That's cool. I'll be your biggest fan. I'll, I'll definitely be your biggest fan. Um, I have no, I don't, I don't have any reason not to be. Everyone, Jonah's cool. Jonah, I'm now Jonah's biggest fan. So, cool. Uh, so yes, Centurion, Obi-Wan does have butterfly shoulders, which is cool. I'm going back through here. <clears throat> Christopher Miller, maybe the figure threw his cloak away before they packed him, maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe they did. Maybe he did. Uh, he saw, he saw Darth, Darth Maul and he just dropped the cloak immediately. Uh, ready to throw down here. Can I do a redux of the live stream so far? I've just been literally, I talked about my honeymoon for a while, and I opened some toys. Um, and I'm gonna, I have one more box of toys to open. This one comes from China. And I actually got it a couple days before I went on my honeymoon, but I just didn't have time to open it up or play with it. But what this is, once I get this out of the plastic here, there we go. This is the uh, Wei Jiang knockoff um, ramp. Is it Rampage? Is that or uh, I can't? I don't remember. I don't remember the bull's name. I don't think it's Rampage. It's the other one that I just can't remember. But it's their kind of slightly oversized, but not quite, but definitely improved. Um, Predaking, Predacons to turn into Predaking. And I believe this right here is the last one. So basically, Wei Jing took Hasbro's mold. Um, obviously, being a KO company, they pretty much KO it. But they make improvements. They use uh, they they they're not hollow like the Hasbro ones are. They've got better paint apps. So it, you know, knockoff is generally kind of considered a a dirty word, except for. <laughs> Transformer knockoffs, for the most part, are typically much better. This is like really well done here. Uh, they're usually much better than the Hasbro ones because they usually fix a lot of the problems that Hasbro had. In this case, the original Hasbro version of these figures were pretty pretty basic, very bad. And um, yeah, there we go. And this is. Uh, the middle guy again. Right now, I'm blanking on the names of these guys, but I now I have them all. The, the other three are in the closet over here, and I'm not going to get them out because I don't want to. I just don't. Oh, Lily's here. Hi, Lily. <laughs> the David the KOs are twenty bucks a pop. Like all, sometimes even less. I think. I think some of the limbs are like 17 or 18. And typically, if you get them from a good site like TF Direct, um, the shipping's free. So I got them shipped to me from China. I mean, it takes a little while to get them. But I got them shipped to me from China for roughly about, on average, I would say uh, $18 a pop. So I got them cheaper than the original Hasbro one. And they're better than the original Hasbro one. So... It's, you know, it's just kind of cool. Oh, thanks, Jake. That, um, I'm, I'm always kind of afraid one day of someone like, you have enough subscribers. I hope you don't get any more subscribers. Um, I guess just another shout out here. Uh, I, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. And when I do, I have a stockpile of toys that I am going to give away. I haven't really figured out exactly how I'm gonna do that, but it is the plan that I'm going to do that. Oh man. So this is 
This is Transformers. Oh no! Oh yeah, he's, he's one of the guys that come off anyway. Um, this is Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Brunt. Come on now. This guy, he's um, not a parts former. I guess he's kind of a parts former, but that's like his gimmick. His gimmick is that he comes apart and becomes like armor and weapons for your other toys. And part of him, a mushroom peg just came off. I actually don't think it was supposed to. But the, uh, the whole thing should come out, and it might be stuck. But I'll get it. Maybe not right now on camera. It's probably really boring. Uh, let's see. Uh, what have I missed? Am I getting any of the new archive? Uh, yes, I am. I don't know. I'm definitely getting Yoda and Anakin. And I'm definitely getting the Biker Scout. Number one, I mean, like, I have the Biker Scout, but you, you always need more, right? Like, it's a Biker Scout. And Anakin and Yoda have much better paint jobs. So I'm definitely getting those. The only one I'm kind of on the fence about is uh, Darth Maul. Because I have him. And, uh... I'm actually not, there you go, nope. I'm actually not super impressed with the Darth Maul's paint apps on the new one. Um, it looks, it looks lazy. Like the original one, there it goes. The original one had much better paint apps. There it goes, there we are. I got it in. Cool. I like his little claw hands. That's cool. It's got little, it's got little claw hands there. I actually don't even know, what is this guy supposed to look like? Oh, fun. Well, I'm not gonna transform him now. But I was happy to see this guy at, uh... man, I love these toys. I was happy to see this guy at Target today, and he was the only one I bought because um, oh, I need more Decepticons. Uh, that's just it. I kind of wish that I got him before the last Bots and Shots episode because he's a tank and have been a cool tank for Tanks vs. Planes, but maybe at some future Tanks vs. Planes. Better off getting a KO figure arts. Oh, thanks, Jeremy Olds. Thanks for the 99 cents. Um, better off getting a KO figure arts mall if you want better paint apps. Yeah, you know, the, the original uh, Darth Maul has actually a decent figure. It's like one of the first figures released in the whole line. And it, it's kind of held up the best uh, of all the older figures. So I, don't, I just don't feel the need to really get a new Darth Maul since I still have the old one. But if you don't have the old one, it's like an... Like, why wouldn't you get it, you know? Uh, it, it's cool. I'm glad that they released it. But that's that's just one that I don't think I really need. So I'll probably not get that one. Yeah, this guy comes apart. Uh, it's like his gimmick. All of his legs and his... Uh, all these things come apart. So he becomes a weaponizer, is what they call him. And you can add him on all the different parts onto different toys. Oh, it's, uh, okay, Jedi Hunter 83, that's cool. Unclassified asks, what's a biker scout without his bike? That's a good question. Um, still, still a cool look, <clears throat> excuse me. It's still a cool looking toy. That's what it is. I gotta open up my second, another, um, ginger ale here. Um, the Biker Scout is probably my favorite looking, I think it's my favorite trooper design. 
So I don't mind that he doesn't like. I, I have the biker scout with the with the speeder bike, so I, I don't. I really don't feel like I need it. <clears throat> but I love having extra troopers. You know. Let's see if I can figure this out. Someone found the mall without the photo tech eyes. Shout out to Hasbro QC. Yeah, so I mean Has Hasbro is definitely they've had some issues with QC for sure. But that's just kind of normal Hasbro. You know what I'm saying? Where did I get the shelves from? They're from Target. <clears throat> They're not from IKEA. Uh, these shelves are from Target. They're they're hundred dollar shelves or whatever. Let's see if I can figure out how how this guy turns into. It's like this comes back here. There we go. It looks like this becomes. A gun of some kind. <clears throat> yeah, you know the 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 speeder bike is a cool toy. It's definitely worth owning for sure. I don't really know how this goes. What is the box? Oh, I see. That's interesting. Well, I'm doing this right, so that's good. I think. There we go. There we go. I'm figuring this out. <clears throat> uh, night, Steve. And tell, tell Shuri that I say good night as well. Shari. Shari. I'm really bad at her name. I'm so sorry that I'm bad at her name. I tried to correct it there. I could blame it on just being absolutely tired. But I think I'm just also terrible at names. There we go. This goes in like this. And this goes in, I think, like this. And... This goes in like this. There we go. There it is. So that's Brent in his little tank mode. I figured it out. It's not bad. It's not a bad little tank mode. I like it. Turret moves up and down. These are his legs up here. It's kind of neat. I like that. I dig it. Christopher, that would be amazing. Floating shelves that look like the Death Star hallway would be fantastic. Um. Stumbler, I think I'm going to put the diorama like right smack dab in the middle where these are. But if it's too big, I'll, fig I'll figure out a spot. Uh, I've also got a new shelf that we got that needs to come here. So it's just a lot of work and I, I haven't wanted to do it. But eventually I'll be pulling out at least two of these shelves and moving them to a different room and moving the new shelf into here because it looks better. Yeah, Centurion, that's what Lily keeps saying. Uh, sorry, Shari. And I'm just saying that right there. Sorry, Shari. She's cool. Call, yeah. <clears throat> and call Stumbler, hi. Let's see here. What if, I'm going to go back up and see what I have missed.
Wait, what? Him and Jam passed away? Oh, damn. That does... I just... Damn. I know he had some medical issues. But that's just sad. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up after the live stream, Papa G. Uh, I did not know that until right now. I'm just finding it out. And that legitimately kind of bums me out here. Unclassified, some of the Transformers you had as kids were metal. Uh, I would say we, because I had them too. Some of them weren't. Only the very early ones typically were metal. Uh, once Hasbro switched over to not using old Diaclone toys, they stopped being die cast for the most part uh, because plastic is cheaper uh, to make and ship uh, and holds up better over time. Die cast was cool, uh, r rubber was cool, but it just does not hold up, so I don't mind. Um, recovering Toy Addict asks if I'm missing any Black Series. The answer is no, I don't. I don't think I'm missing any specific figure types. I don't have some of the exclusive releases of figures. Like my Thrawn is the regular release, not like the one with all the extra accessories. Um, obviously my Obi-Wan that I just opened up right here uh, is just the regular one, not the one with the extra hand. But you know what? Another thing I, I forgot to do, and now he's gone... I, Leron, I will be opening up Loot Crate, but not on here. I, it will be its own, it will be its own, um, video. But, uh, Centurion, Centurion's Corner, um, he was just in here. You guys, go back and check out his YouTube channel. Um, he gave me this custom Waxer and Boil Black Series figures that he made. He basically buys the KO Clone Trooper body and just kind of scuffs them up and paints them. And I'm gonna do a full on video for these, but I wanted to show them off right here because they are absolutely fantastic. He did a great job of painting them and weathering them all over. They come each with uh, the regular like DC, whatever, the big gun. And then they come, they each come with a smaller gun as well. Kind of like, you know, the normal. The normal releases here. But Waxer and Boyle um, were two of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars uh, that weren't that weren't Domino Squad, basically. Uh, they had that cool video where they are the episode where they go to Ryloth and they, they find the little Ryloth girl. If someone tried to tell me it ended up being Hera, but it's not. That's not Hera. I'm going to try to get this gun, this blaster into the hand. There we go. Let me get this into here. Ooh. These are uh, tight hands. I don't want to don't want to ruin anything. There we go. There we are. They've got their little guns on them. <clears throat> so he he customized these, and we met up in London on my honeymoon, and uh, we hung out with him and and um, and Shari, uh, and we went to Forbidden Planet, and we just kind of walked around and talked. And it was a lot of fun. And then uh, he gave me those as a little, little present. So I, he definitely, he, I think he recorded his work on these. So if you want to go find them, uh, definitely go check them out on his channel. Yeah, Numa, that's her name. Thank you.
Yes, hi. Salacious Crumb is one I'm missing because he only came out with the Comic-Con exclusive uh, Job of the Hut, And I didn't get that, so I definitely don't have the Salacious Crumb. So you're absolutely right there. It kind of sucks that they didn't release... Uh, they, they didn't release the, uh, that. Man, that sucks. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just kind of looking back through the chat here. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, so again, um, Papa Gord, if you guys, uh, he left. Sorry, sorry I missed you there, Papa Gord, but um, see ya. If you guys haven't checked out Papa Gord's channel, check his channel out. He reviews Star Wars figures, Marvel Legends and stuff. Um, he's got a fun little channel. And then Centurion's Corner, definitely. He's got a really good um, customizing kind of thing set up. And I, I enjoy watching his videos thoroughly. So uh, I, f I just figure that there are people out there that probably will enjoy uh, watching them as well. Let's see. What do I think of the Comic Cave Iron Man figures? I, to be honest, I I don't have any opinion on them. Um, I don't even know what they are. So I'm gonna go look them up right now. Comic Cave Iron Man. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. The one twelfth ones? Wow. Uh, I think I think they're beautiful. It looks like they also did an Optimus Prime? Really? Look at that one twelfth scale Hulkbuster. These look pretty good. Yeah, these look real good. So the answer is I think they look beautiful. I just don't see a price on them. So I can't imagine them being very cheap because they look they look expensive. For sure. Oh, dude, that's cool about the Hot Toys Fives and Wolf. I love Fives and Echo and all those guys. I think the Domino Squad was just a really well done story throughout the all, all the Clone Wars, and it's great that they make you care about clone troopers as individual figures. Uh, or characters, so that's cool. Uh, I can't wait to see. Um, I can't wait to see the Clone Wars season for sure. A season two pre Vizsla six inch figure would be rad. Uh, what's up, Retro? How you doing, man? Uh, what time was I in Philly yesterday? I think we were there from around one to three. Uh, we had just enough time to get like a little little food from the Regal. Regal Seagull, I think it was, and then we went on our plane uh, back to here. So definitely, is it an Ionic Breeze? Uh, no, I do not have an Ionic Breeze to my right. Oh, yeah, actually, it is. I forgot. It's back in the corner. I totally forgot. Yep, I have one back there. <clears throat> How is Scotland? Scotland was. Beautiful. Edinburgh is maybe my favorite city of all time now. And if I ever move out of the country, I'm definitely moving to Edinburgh. Um, I did not... Actually, that's not true. In Dublin, we got a Stitch Disney toy box figure because we, we went to the Dublin uh, Disney store. And they had uh, Stitch on clearance for €3. Euro. 
So it was like three euro for a stitch. Why not? Uh, let's see. Uh, Andy Davis, uh, one of your figures comes to life and offers to take you on vacation. Who is the fig and where do y'all go? Oh. Uh, uh, I would say Optimus Prime and Cybertron. Or Padme and places for reasons. She's on my list. Night, Night of Ren says, when it comes to clones, Rex is your... Yeah, Rex is fantastic. Uh, I'm glad they came, they came out with him. I pretty much like all the clones. They're, they're cool guys. Yeah, if you guys want to, to check out my Instagram, um, I've got some pictures from our trip there, but um, I will be putting together a video... See you, Retro. Uh, I will I'll be putting together... I cannot talk. I'm just, like, exhausted mentally, physically, all of it. Uh, but I'll be putting together a video uh, of our honeymoon. Just little kind of daily vlogs that we, we did. And then um, I, I did a lot of hyperlapse shots of driving and um, the plane taking off and climbing up Skellig Michael to, you know, Octu. Christopher Miller, I think it'd be worth it. Um, I think it would be worth dying on Cybertron to know that I made it to Cybertron. Yeah, pad me next to the fireplace, for sure. Sorry, just uh, just reading through some stuff here. Did I find any Mark Hamill or Daisy Ridley hair in the huts? So the answer is no. They actually... Um, we, we, we found out a lot, uh, or a little bit at least, about them filming. They couldn't film in the monastery area because the, all those little huts, those are uh, monastery houses. So they weren't actually allowed to film there. So all of the scenes that take place in those huts are actually um, replicas. They're not, they're not actually there. How's my new kilt? I did not get a kilt, although I, th I thought about it. And at one point, Lily and I were counting the different kilts that we saw, or the different times that we saw people in kilts. It wasn't as many times as I thought there would be. I think we only saw like seven different people wearing kilts, and a couple of those were like two guys hanging out. So it was only like three or four different times that we actually saw someone wearing a kilt, and two of the times were guys playing bagpipes, like traditional bagpipe songs. So it wasn't, it just wasn't as common as I thought it was going to be. Yes, K2 um, got hit by the earthquake back there. Um, Sabine, my battle droids, Padme. Um, you know what though? Uh, a lot fewer, a lot fewer figures fell over than I thought there would have been. Um, some of my, my Marvel Legends fell over but no nothing really like fell off i was actually most i have um the big one fourth scale turtles up here um and i was scared that they would fall off but they didn't yes uh net of Ren, pinewood studios is where they recreated the huts so they did film some scenes on the island um but not not all of them definitely not anything that was filmed in a hut 
they weren't allowed to film in the monastery area. But we def they definitely, excuse me, they definitely filmed up the um, the steps here. So what I'll do. Let's see. If I go back far enough here. There we go. Okay, how do I get this onto my chat? Let's find out here. And window capture. Let's see. Which one is this one? Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to get, yes. I'm trying to figure out how to get this video up here. I'll just do display capture. And I'll move all this stuff over to here. I'm gonna figure this out. There we go. So this is me going up Skellig Michael on the stairs if you guys want to watch that here. What's up Nugget? So this is a hyperlapse I did. It's a 620 stair climb. And I figured no one wanted, it's like, it takes like 30 minutes to climb up. So I figured no one wanted me to like, like see me climb it for 30 minutes. You know, the, the earthquakes aren't that big of a deal. At least they haven't been so far. Thanks, Ionicus, for uh, toy reviews. So this is, uh, this is us climbing Skellig Michael. There's no sound on anything. There's a little brick area. You know, one thing you'll notice is just tons of birds everywhere. Most of them are puffins, and that's why there are so many porgs in the uh, in the Last Jedi because there are just puffins just everywhere. I think that's actually our boat just trolling around out there. There's puffins on the ground, just chilling out. Puffins everywhere. Yeah, uh, it was actually pretty dangerous. There, there are lots of very thin areas where um, there, were, there were definitely no side railings and it was very steep. The stairs were uneven. Um, it was definitely scary, for sure.
These cute little puffins didn't want to get out of the way. They're like, come on, come on. Thanks for hanging out, uh, Ionicus and Unclassified. Uh, I actually think after I do this video, um, I'm gonna pretty much go as well. I'm pretty exhausted, and uh, these people are coming coming down on their butts because it's very, very s steep, and it's very, very scary. What kind of booze did we bring back? We didn't bring back any. We almost did. We almost brought back booze. Um, we almost brought back booze from Edinburgh Castle, but we didn't because it was, we didn't want to check it. We didn't want to check our bags. And I think that's it. That's the video. Yay, we did it. Let me get rid of this display capture here. Yes, there we go. Lots of people were crawling up, man. People were crawling up, people were crawling down. It was it was scary. It was very scary. I have no idea what puffins eat, and no, we didn't smuggle a puffin back. They uh, are very serious about their puffins. Uh, in fact, uh, they had they because they did film some things on the island there, but they made them stop because they were disrupting the birds and the mating and all that stuff. So they, they actually told them they couldn't film on the island anymore because they were disrupting all the, all the puffins. Xanderson, ah, Xanderson says, I've been thinking about getting a custom uh, kit Fisto commissioned on uh, SH Figure Body. Uh, know, uh, anyone know of a talented customizer? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Stigma Custom Collectibles. That guy is uh, fantastic. Uh, yes, there's a hello. Well, there's a helipad right at the base of the stairs, and I had to run. Um, I've got a picture of it somewhere. But uh, I would I would hit up uh, Stigma Custom Collectibles if you want. If you want a good uh, customized figure. I would also say Centurion's Corner, but I think he mostly does troopers and paints and stuff, whereas uh, Stigma is pretty good at... He's, he's got a really good eye for sculpting. Um, so I, I would probably definitely recommend him for that. I've got a picture of the helipad from super high up. I'm just trying to see where it is there it is hold on there we go oh you can see I'm <laughs> I've got Final Fantasy 14 ready to go here um, this right here this is the uh, the helipad down here at the bottom. And this is pretty much about halfway to the top. These are right here uh, are where the stairs kind of start going up to where you get the talk about how dangerous it is going up and you shouldn't do it. Um, and these are kind of just led ledges looking down over the water here. There we go. Yes, Daisy Ridley and Mark Hamill both, and I believe Adam Driver probably, uh, but definitely Daisy Ridley and Mark Hamill both climbed those steps. Uh, and I've got a bunch of pictures of the actual places where I'm sure they went and stepped up on. Um, I, I was sure to kind of take some pictures there. Found the Han with Tauntaun loose for seven bucks. That's a good deal. 
Yes, Bob, uh, I do. So, <clears throat> this is actually a trick. Damn. That sucks. This is actually a trick I just learned from Ham and Jam, who I just found out passed away. Um, but I picked up some of this blue tack here, and uh, it keeps your, your figures from falling over. Was it Ham and Jam, or was it Revan JJ? It was someone, but I'm pretty sure it was Ham and Jam um, to keep the figures from falling over. So I'm going to basically take this stuff and put it, put them underneath the figures to keep them from falling over. You know, I was trying to look, Christopher, I was trying to look for a, a place that looked like where she was practicing her lightsaber, but I couldn't find it. So it probably, so they also, they didn't all just film at Skellig Michael. They also filmed around um, Dunmore Head, which uh, we, we drove around as well. So I think a lot of those places were filmed there, but I definitely... here this is the uh, the hut that I'm pretty sure they modeled because again they didn't um, they couldn't film here but they modeled it after this place pretty accurately so I'm pretty sure that was Luke Skywalker's hut Uh, this place, I'm pretty. Looked to me like the place where they uh, they walked up, and felt where Daisy Ridley found Mark Hamill, kind of hanging out at the top. Yeah, I took a bunch of pictures, a bunch of puffins and things. These aren't even all of them, but I think this is my favorite. I think that's my favorite picture right there. That puffin was cute. Yep. Yeah, Night of Rand, that's just that sucks about him and Jam. I I really liked him. He was a cool guy. Um, I I mean I live in Southern California. We we feel earthquakes here. Earthquakes happen all the time. It's only the big ones that we really feel. Um, they're, they're I mean they can be scary. And when the big one hits or whatever, that'll probably be bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, it. I'm, I'm a little worried if a big one hits about losing some of my figures, but I'm not super worried about it. We definitely felt the one last night because we were, we were in LA, but we were also on a train, so it really felt like I wasn't sure if it was just normal train rocking or if it was an actual earthquake. Turns out it was an actual earthquake. It was kind of fun. Yeah, I've got a bunch of other photos. Again, I'm going to make a video, like a little vlog of our honeymoon. Because we, we did see a bunch of cool stuff. We saw a bunch of Star Wars stuff. We saw a bunch of Avengers stuff. Um, we saw literary stuff. If you like Lord of the Rings, like we hung out at the bar that J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis drank at. Um, if you like, I, we saw J.R.R. Tolkien's grave, which was pretty cool. And if you like the Golden Compass books and stuff, we sat on Lara's bench at the Botanical Garden. So we, we did a lot of really cool stuff. When are we going to the Star Wars big deal at Disneyland? Probably not for another couple months. 
Uh, we just <clears throat> don't have a lot of time. A um, lot of stuff happening. Uh, but we'll definitely do it. But probably not until like either end of this year sometime or beginning of next year. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, Night of Ren, they, um, <clears throat> they filmed a bunch of scenes from Infinity War in Edinburgh. So we, we took a... We took some pictures around there, like the train station. Um, we uh, we ate we ate breakfast when we got there next to the place where um, Scarlet Witch fought uh, one of the people. So it was pretty cool. Bob Armstrong, I think the only thing I really want to get from Galaxy's Edge is a lightsaber. Uh, we I have the three the three packs from there, so I don't need that. But I definitely want to get the lightsaber, uh, like a a cool lightsaber for sure. That's cool. Yeah, the it's the the bar is called the Eagle and the Child or the Bird and the Baby, uh, as some of the locals call it or whatever. But uh, it was pretty cool. It was really crowded. The food was good. The bathroom was gross. Um, but all in all, it was, it was fun to be at. It was just, it's cool knowing that like I'm hanging out in a place that J.R. Tolkien hung out at, you know? Because um, I'm, a, I'm a fan, to say the least. I'm going to figure out how to get this to stay in here. Yeah, Endgame and uh, lots of, not lots of scenes, but definitely scenes. In fact, after as we were leaving Edinburgh, uh, Lily and I watched uh, in, uh, Infinity War just to kind of, <clears throat> it's kind of like, uh, Make them real, like all the different places, because it was cool seeing them in the in the film and being like, "Oh yeah, we went there. Oh yeah, we went there." It was just pretty cool. Yeah, the Inklings. So they also the Inklings met at the Eagle and Child, but they also met across the street at the Lamb and Flag uh, after Tolkien left the group um i did not see the tolkien movie i heard that it wasn't super good but i don't know i'm not saying i'll never see it but it just didn't make it a priority to see if you know what i mean oh that's cool so you can you can take the um, I've got BT one here. You can take the side panel off this and put it on here if you don't want it to have a big gaping hole where his gun should be. So it looks like his guns are kind of put up. That's neat. I like that. That's a cool touch. So you can kind of have them just like normal normal droid mode, or you can pop in all of his guns and go like full destroy mode. Yeah, I uh, I got almost the full wave. I'm missing triple zero because I forgot to update my credit card information. And instead of sending me an email saying, "Hey, update your credit card information," they just can't. Hasbro Pulse just cancels your order, uh, which sucks. But I've got a new one. I've got uh, my buddy Hi, who was in chat earlier. I don't know if he still is, but he's sending me. He's sending me one, which I'm super excited to get. <laughs> uh, hi, dude. Oh, you're, well, so first of all, you are still here, um, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave that to you, dude, because uh, I definitely don't want those. Is 
There we go. Okay. I could not get his guns to sit properly in the holes, but now I do. There we go. Now I can just pop these right here. There we go. I definitely think that looks cool. Definitely a um, R5 unit ready to go. Just destroy some sh stuff. What's the best way to manage dust with loose figures? Um, meticulously clean them. Wash them under water if you can and let them dry or completely ignore the dust and hope that no one else sees it either. Yeah, so the, the first, I, I actually, I don't think I've read the first 10 Dr. Afra com, uh, issues. She first appeared in the Darth Vader comics uh, and it was a pretty cool run. But yeah, I definitely like her as a character, Dr. Afra. Uh, it's interesting that she's basically just a Jaina Solo body with a different head and arms. But I'm not complaining because it's a good body and it definitely looks good. So I like that. I like, I like all of this. She's got a good face. I'm trying to get that back so you can see it. But I definitely, you know what? I think of all of them, I think the winner's Chopper. I think, the, I think, I mean, I don't have triple zero yet, but he's got his little arms. Like he's just got so much. He's got his little appendages here and he comes with a bunch of just different accessories. Uh, especially for the middle down here, you can get a little the blast cone. You can get his uh, actual third leg. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, I definitely think Chopper. I think Chopper might be the best figure uh, in this uh, in this wave, which is weird. I didn't really like Chopper when they when they first started watching uh, Rebels. Um, I thought he was kind of a dick, but uh, I don't know. He kind of grows on you. I like him. I did not get the new archive figures yet. I'm pretty much. I'm, I don't think I'm going to get Darth Maul because I have Darth Maul already, and I think the Darth Maul, the original Darth Maul, is actually a better figure than the new one. You feel like Ezra's head is too big. Let's take a look here. You gotta compare it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Eh, maybe a little bit. I got Obi-Wan here with Ezra. It's always hard to tell. I'm really bad with proportions like this. So it's it's hard to tell. But you not you might not be wrong there. But I still think it looks good, for sure. Uh, what is it? Is that all of them? Did I just re-pull out all of them? I think I did. Yeah. That's true. R2, if, he, if R2 falls over, which mine just did right here, these top pieces right here, they just, it's, and it's true for every R2 unit. Um, I've lost a couple of, not, not permanently, but I've had to like go on the floor and kind of scour and look around for the little pieces here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the, the Yoda, I'm gonna get Anakin, and I'm definitely getting the Biker Scout to have another Imperial Trooper, but that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm gonna get the Darth Maul. I just, um, I think I think the paint job on the original one is actually better. 
for whatever reason. Like maybe not the eyes, but everything else is. So I just don't I don't see a reason to get the new Darth Maul. But I don't know. Maybe if I see it in store, uh, it might I might change my mind. So I'm not ruling anything out for sure. Gonna get this guy back on. There we go. Gonna retransform Brunt here. There we go. And then. Oh no! Come off! No! It came off. It came off too well. There we go. There we go. And then the leg pieces go here. And here. And then his back goes here. And then his gun. goes like here or whatever however you want and there we got a little brunt liquidator brunt I like this <clears throat> David Smith what'd you pre-order ha DJ Ronan that's funny uh, every it, it's <laughs> Every time I hear Brunt, I think either Grand Nagus or Liquidator Brunt. Um, he, Brunt was my favorite. He was my, I think he was my favorite uh, Ferengi, for sure. So I, I have the same problem. So I'm, I'm glad I'm not alone there in thinking that he is a Ferengi. And hi, I agree. We need Zeb. So the rumor is after Palpatine comes out, Zeb's going to be the next deluxe figure. Yeah, Christopher, I don't think I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to pay for a figure just to review it again. I probably wouldn't. Although, I don't know. I, I think I actually did end up reviewing Darth Maul way back in the day, but it's been so long. I might do it. Just to, If I did it, it would just be a comparison, but I have no reason. I don't think I have any reason to buy Darth Maul. Nice. <clears throat> Mirage is a fantastic figure. Wait, which one? The the new Siege one or the uh, like a third party uh, MP one? Ah, Siege. Yeah, the, the Siege one looks good, for sure. Uh, but I think with that, I'm actually, I'm feeling really tired and getting a little hungry. So I think I'm going to end this because I've got a lot more stuff to do. And I've got to make a bunch of videos and got to clean up this room some more and clean up the earthquake damage back here. 
But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, thanks for watching me open up toys uh, and hanging out and all that stuff. And I will... Oh, David Smith said something else. Uh, I just want a couple to my non-Star Wars shelf. Yeah, I, I think it, it, it breaks up your shelf presence a little bit to add a transformer in there. Uh, and the Mirage looks good, so I think that's a good choice. I think Siege is honestly knocking it out of the park, and I really don't think there's been any objectively bad Siege figures so far. So definitely, for sure. Uh, I can't wait high to, to get those update figures. Yeah, definitely, Bob. I've got lots of jet lag. I'm, I'm exhausted, for sure. Um, cool. Have fun hanging out at TFCon, DJ Ronan. But yeah, so I think that's going to be about it for me. Um, I definitely, oh, Omar, I definitely think that we should get more Black Series Sith Lords. Like, if you have Revan, why, why, uh, give us Nihilus. Give us all those. For, I agree. Uh, show enough. Peace out, man. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. I'll see you later. Bye.